Full alien disclosure. This document is absolutely incredible. Extraterrestrial beings are already here on planet Earth. This 26-page document begins with the following statement. This is the most important document in the entire history of the world. I initially came across the document while taking a quick cursory glance through the latest batch of leaked emails over at WikiLeaks. The file itself came in the form of an email attachment. The email it was attached to was the now infamous Podesta file concerning the Treaty for the Banning of Weapons in Space. The following text has been taken from pages 4, 5, 6 and 7 of the document. Enjoy. This treaty incorporates the reality that humans have evolved into a higher frequency of consciousness than that of the past. While language about the cosmic cultures ETs is not directly stated, the concept in this treaty incorporates the fact that humanity is and will be officially in contact with the cosmic cultures, some humans are already in contact, and it is important to note that while there are many carefully taught ideas about the off-planet cultures, beings, and many perspectives and interpretations about experiences and thoughts about ETs, the fact is that they have evolved, none of them are hostile, and it is time for humanity to evolve and live in peace as there is in space. Now, the last card, presented by Von Braun, is what we need to know is about to happen, but it hasn't, because humanity is still willing to fight and destroy each other in our common environment, so the war industry is continuing there hasn't been a need to escalate that war mentality into space until recently, it is happening. With the confrontations during this time when humanity is about to deploy space-based technology in the forms of advanced space stations, hotels, habitats, etc., and mining asteroids, or fighting them, among the current conversations of intentions. The time has come when it is urgent to make sure there is world agreement to not base weapons in space. There is only one chance to get this treaty signed, this agreement among space-faring nations. That is before weapons get based on stations, asteroids, celestial bodies, etc. In spite of rumors, there are no weapons based in space. The treaty has one purpose, to ban all space-based weapons, which is doable now. We can only hope that with the aggressor nations still needing to stimulate the budgets based on wars and therefore the need to identify the next and the next enemies and so the enemy list changes so the warriors can continue to dump their old weapons, test new ones and rationalize budgets for the next phases of weapons. We can only work for and hope the country leaders will sign this treaty. Right now, it is clear that they are forming gangs. This treaty is the first treaty acknowledges the cosmos cultures and the indigenous cultures as being parties to the treaty. Of course, parties don't sign a treaty. The signatories of a treaty on this planet are the UN member leaders of the designated people, called signatories. This treaty acknowledges the highest of truths in our time for our time. This treaty that will ban all space-based weapons. There is zero evidence that cosmos cultures are hostile. None of them are hostile. That lie will be spread, as it is spread by authors, producers, speakers, politicians as jokes at this time, etc., and sometimes by experiences, contactees, or anyone who comes from that carefully taught state of fear. The beings from other cultures have shown us, they have have proven they are here and are not here to harm us in any way. There will be humans who cannot believe it is possible for peace to prevail on this planet or in space, dot, but it can. The cosmic cultures have shown what they are capable of doing. For example, they have shown they can shut down our missiles, but that they do not attack, harm, control, threaten or get in the way of planes or our technology in space. It's time for humans to let go of fear about this issue. There is no threat to humanity or to national or world security from cosmos cultures. Cosmos cultures are not an enemy. Credentialed military officers, government representatives, pilots, scientific, corporate and other experts have testified and confirmed that the cosmos cultures are real and that they come in peace. While several countries have recently declassified relevant information, some is presented in the context of the old fear-based context. Fortunately, more and more humans are evolving into a higher frequency of truth based on the intelligence and consciousness of people who can understand that none of the beings coming from distances of the universe is a hostile and that it's time we humans need to find out more truths including about free energy and health issues of our bodies and our environment that they can share once we officially invite them in. Many know they are ready to land but need to know we humans won't shoot them down. Disclosure has taken place. This treaty is verifiable. There is technology today that makes it possible to know about everything that is in space. Space age technology and information exists today that can observe everything on Earth and in space. 
There is only collaboration and cooperation in space right now. There is no possibility of keeping secrets about any weapons that might be in space because there is only cooperation and collaboration. There are Earth beings who have passed around lies about this issue. Some good people believe the lies. There has been mind control going on that makes people believe lies. Even those identified as country adversaries on Earth are having a wonderful time working and living together in space. Space is not yet contaminated with the weapons industry and mentality. The relationships with cosmic cultures forthcoming are going to awaken humanity regarding who we really are in the universes and how we can live healthily and heal on our garden planet. This is going to cause the industries that are based on war and toxic poisons to transform, to create new jobs based on peace and all that goes with it. This treaty is enforceable. Enforcement of this treaty will take place in the new way of defining enforcement that is now going to be based on continued cooperation and collaboration ventures in space. That is, there will be on the ongoing cooperation and collaboration in space that is not on space-based weapons as exists today. The introduction of weapons to be based in space must not be permitted. A new way of relating to each other has emerged in space. A new way to think of ETs has emerged, too. There is a possibility of creating a step via this treaty that will be a model for cooperation and collaboration on Earth. Space must be preserved without weapons based in space. Some on Earth have learned that weapons do not make us more secure and that suffering and destruction and lack of respect for all sacred life is no longer acceptable. Others remain to be killers who accept torture and corruption as being the norm. It is a choice for humanity to make. It must be accomplished fast as weaponizing space would be irreversible. The research and development of outer space time offers humanity a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to choose not to dominate and control everyone and everything on Earth and in space, from space, by a few. This old paradigm intention to seize the high ground, today that is space is no longer acceptable to the sane and balanced who see that survival changing our ways to recognize sustainability, health and education are keys to our very survival as a species. Species are disappearing every day. Unfortunately, some are taught to believe Armageddon is coming and they will survive, so causing suffering and destruction can be acceptable to those people. Some have learned that in order to survive, we humans must focus on healing building our possible sustainable space-age infrastructure in our communities and on this planet. There can now be new innovations and breakthroughs on this planet that can be applied to bettering ways of life for all sacred life. In space, research and development and exploration, consideration for life now and for future generations can and will continue to be done but with a different approach and intention that that evolved based on a war mentality. Humans can learn about the fact that peace can prevail. Humans are evolving, and this is shown by how even former adversaries live together in space. Formerly identified adversaries, enemies on Earth are now living, working, and traveling together in space, peacefully. Space presents a new model for all of humanity, Dodden has done the same for cosmic cultures. The disinformation is being uncovered, Dodden action for a commitment to peace in the space above all our heads is taking place via the treaty. The forthcoming signing and ratification by the first nine signatories will make this ban on all space-based weapons, the preservation of the being no weapons based in space, the key to transforming the war industry and mindset. As people realize we humans have banned the possibility of basing weapons in that place above all our heads, there will be a huge worldwide peace event that will celebrate the treaty signing celebration. This event will wake people up to this pivotal step that has taken place, the treaty signing, that will cause peace to break out on Earth. Then the transformation of the war industry and mindset will transform so that peace on Earth, with all the opportunities and benefits that rise of consciousness into a higher frequency of peace will become part of the evolution of humanity state. Then it will be possible to communicate openly with our cosmic neighbors. Currently, investment monies, this funding and momentum of vested interests is rapidly being put into place. Soon, if not stopped and transformed into another game, it will be too late to stop. We are at this critical juncture now. As decision makers join in to fight the next wars, we have only one chance in all of history to change this game to a peaceful game based on what is happening in space. While some are in denial, many growing numbers of humans know we have huge environmental problems on this planet that can cause obliteration of the human species, many are suffering. Obviously we need brand new approaches and technologies that will emerge as budgets and brains get freed up from working on the war machine as this treaty gets signed into binding law. 
Simply uncovering cover-ups, protests, and presenting of facts are not enough. The space issue is now emerging. Before it is too late to stop the ultimate continuation of suffering and destruction that could obliterate the whole human species, sooner than some might think, those who understand and can work to get world leaders to sign this and ratify. And will this treaty get signed into law in time? As once the momentum takes off, and it is happening now as even Putin has announced he is going to have to build a space-based warning system, which of course would include weapons, as he knows what the US is planning to do, to base weapons in space. This is a most critical time of decision making in all of history. So if some want to be distracted or can't help themselves see the vital importance of getting this binding law signed and ratified fast, so be it. It is up to those few who get it to get this done. A report card on our food and water supply, our environment, and our health issues in all humans and other animals, in the quality of our water, land, and air, and on climate change including methane, radiation, and breakdowns causing disease, is being revealed now. Only the most advanced methods that can be developed can lead to the survival of the human species at this point. We really to learn more from those who have traveled so far, who come from other universes. There are so many reasons for why it is time to clean up and heal our environment and to deal with the suffering and destruction, for hate and fear, for greed and self-interests. We cannot solve the problems on this planet by doing things in the same ways of the past. That is obvious to those who can still think. This is the time to finally, simply, put a literal lid on the war and weapons industry and to transform it, fast, before weapons are escalated permanently and irreversibly into that place above all our heads. This can only be done now, within the next few short weeks, if that. This is the time to get this treaty signed and ratified, which means we have to get it into the hands of the world's leaders who sign treaties. Only with the signing of this treaty can budgets and brains get freed from the previous focus on stimulating the old war economy. Sad that it's about politics but it is politics and economics, dot war politics and war technological games. The emerging new focus emerging now is actually on solutions to the urgent problems on our planet. But the war distractions continue to drain the budgets and brains that could be applied to the solutions. Spin-offs from war games filter into the civilian life. But there will be, once the whole game is changed, meaning that the war industry ends with world leader commitments to not weaponize space and to continue to build only cooperative ventures in space, will be on a new kind of maximum efforts for healings, educating, solving urgent and potential problems of human needs, the environment, climate change and free energy on Earth. Many new innovations and breakthroughs will be applied to solutions that are based on a whole new kind of thoughts, imagine the song Imagine playing right now. Fortunately, we have a few minutes in time when there is a way for a feasible change to take place that will provide unlimited opportunities and benefits for all including for the hundreds of millions of orphans and other life forms on our planet. We can have sustainable healthy happy lives. This is the time when space-based weapons can be technologically, economically, politically feasibly banned before an irreversible momentum of funding and vested interests get put into place. While there are many issues to distract from this space for peace issue, those who get it have a choice to accept the responsibility to get this treaty signed now or not. 2015 is our last chance to create the new reality we want that is based on ending wars. This treaty is the key to open the doors to the reality we really want, some of us anyway. Will the doubts, fears and the skepticism prevail or will peace prevail? That is up to us.